Okay. Well, I am delighted to call on Peggy Sattler, an MPP for London West of the Ontario New Democratic Party to bring greetings. Peggy Sattler is the NDP member of Provincial Parliament for London West. She was first elected in a by-election in 2013 and re-elected in 2014, 2018, and 2022. In the last parliament, Peggy served as the official opposition House leader and Ontario NDP critic for labour and democratic reform. At Queen's Park, Peggy won the fight for paid leave for domestic violence and sexual violence, which remains law in the province of Ontario, and has been leading the push for paid sick days for every Ontario worker. She is a tireless advocate for better health care, improved mental health services, and an end to gender-based violence, and is a longtime champion for post-secondary work integrated learning. Prior to her election as MPP, Peggy served as a trustee on the Thames Valley District School Board for 13 years, including two terms as board chair. As a director of policy at a London research firm, Peggy managed provincial and national research studies with a focus on post-secondary education and workforce development, including research on bridging programs for internationally educated health professions. Welcome, Peggy. Okay, Morgan, can you hear me? I can. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that intro. It's uh, certainly a pleasure to be here tonight to bring greetings on behalf of the Ontario NDP and uh, and the official opposition. And I want to start by by thanking your CEO, Dr. Doris Greenspun, who has been a, a fearless and a tireless uh, champion for nurses. Uh, also want to thank you, Morgan, as the outgoing uh, president of RNAO and, and uh, offer my congratulations to your new president-elect, uh, Dr. Claudette Holloway. Uh, Morgan, uh, you, uh, you will know that uh, you and I met several years ago when you were the president of the Middlesex uh, Elgin RNAO, ch RNAO chapter, and it's been great to hear your voice at the uh, provincial level. So your uh, theme this year for your AGM, Nursing Through Crisis, I think captures exactly where we are at right now in the province of Ontario. And I wanna say a profound thanks uh, for the sacrifices that nurses have made, the risks that you have faced and the commitment that you have always shown uh, over two brutal and exhausting years of COVID-19. But as we know, the crisis is far from over and it did not start with the pandemic. Uh, nurses have always served on the front lines to keep our communities together. They have uh, answered the call, uh, whether there were emergency orders in place or not, and have always done so with incredible compassion, courage, and grit. You deserve a government that has your backs, just like you had ours. And I want you to know that the NDP will always fight alongside you for the respect that you have earned just by entering the nursing profession, uh, whether you are a student, just starting out in your career, or an experienced nurse who has stayed on uh, despite exhaustion, short staffing, and burnout. We have just uh, been through an election in this province, and I know that uh, all candidates likely heard at the doorstep the same things that I was hearing. I talked to many nurses, family members of nurses, people who recognize and appreciate the vital role of nurses, and they all said the same thing. Bill 124 must be repealed to allow nurses to negotiate compensation that reflects the skills, professionalism, and value they provide. Strategies must be implemented immediately to address the workforce crisis, and this means attracting, retaining, and returning nurses mentoring new nurses and expediting credential recognition for internationally educated uh, nurses. Supports must be put in place now to ensure that the surgical and procedural backlog can be addressed without placing further unfair burdens on a nursing workforce that is already demoralized and stretched far too thin. The pandemic has highlighted the consequences of years of underinvestments in healthcare and in nursing. Ontario was already 22,000 nurses short prior to COVID and has had the lowest patient to RN ratio in Canada for the last 30 years. The failure to address the opioid crisis, which 
public health emergency years ago has resulted in a 60% increase in opioid related deaths since 2019. Ontario nurses deserve more than words of gratitude from their government. You deserve action on the priorities that you will be identifying at this AGM and the recommendations you'll be making. I am proud of the NDP's partnership with RNAO and with all nurses in Ontario. We share similar goals and similar values, and we will keep up the fight for the respect, action, and investments you need. As the official opposition, we won't stop in our efforts to hold the government to account and make sure that the RNAO platform is implemented. And that includes urgent investments to shore up frontline care and to protect, protect and preserve our world-class public health care system. We will work to repeal the anti-democratic and anti-worker Bill 124. We'll work to secure better pay, safer workplaces, and stronger supports for nurses, including mental health supports. We'll push for surge funding to help clear the surgical and procedural backlog, and also to, to see concrete concrete measures put in place to tackle the nursing shortage. Uh, we will prioritize uh, or uh, ask the government, urge the government to prioritize dealing with the opioid crisis. Uh, we are committed to continuing to work with you uh, to get nurses the respect they deserve, the support they need, and to ensure that Ontarians uh, can access the care that they rely on. And uh, before I close, I want to give a shout out to, uh, to Janet Hunt, uh, who I hope is here, and my friends from RNIO Middlesex London, uh, who, who have been incredibly helpful to me as uh, MPP for London West. And I think it was the day after I was elected in 2013 that I got the phone call from Janet uh, asking to set up a meeting uh, so that uh, they could start the process of educating me uh, about the nursing profession, advocating for scope of practice, advocating for health equity and social determinants of health. And it has been uh, extremely valuable to, uh, to my work as an MPP. So uh, I hope you have a great AGM and I'm really looking forward to the recommendations that come out of your discussions today and tomorrow. Thank you Thank so you. much MPP Peggy Settler and so good to see you and I know directly from Janet and from Morgan I must say and from 